The backstory for Forsaken Lake is that it's this uh, town that's been underwater and they've abandoned and they've left their cemetery, but the dead, uh, through constant drowning, have come up and they're constantly seeking people to drag back in and become uh, victims themselves and join them. I definitely love the interactivity of it. The fact that um, people are much more uh, attuned to um, getting scared if they feel like they're in the environment. So Forsaken Lake is definitely that an opportunity to move forward with what, we, what we're doing here in general, which is this kind of storytelling, much more st storytelling than we have before. The inspiration for the music behind Forsaken Lake uh, of course came from the, the uh, funeral dirges of New Orleans, uh, of the, typically of the 1800s. Uh, so it all had to be inspired by that, uh, that motif of music. What you'll hear in, in the processional music is, are elements of, of a uh, New Orleans funeral dirge. So there's uh, musical instruments of the era, but it's mashed up with a little bit of a uh, kind of a very dark heavy metal element that is a little modern and very dark and uh, edgy and gritty. One of the first times we've really leaned into it uh, as more of a musical uh, melodic element as, as opposed to just creating a, a, a dark uh, soundscape. What makes Forsaken Lake so unique is the fact that um, throughout the evening the uh, monsters will just all of a sudden, as if it was uh, organic, move into this procession. It will move down, it will go into a show moment, a short show moment, and uh, we will have a couple kind of unique scares involved in that. We'll have fog, we'll have sound, we'll have music, we'll have the costumes, the vibrancy of this kind of creepy feeling uh, moving uh, throughout the scare zone.